Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons. In this part of the FreeCAD series, you'll learn how to speed up modeling using linear and rectangular patterns, plus multi-transform for more advanced combinations. We'll also use Mirror to duplicate features cleanly so everything updates automatically when you edit the source. The rectangular pattern operation is similar in function to the polar pattern operation. This operation also allows you to significantly simplify and speed up the creation of 3D models. We will create a new project create a sketch on the XY plane and draw a rectangle with dimensions of 200 by 100 millimeters. Okay, we close the sketch and here I will create a solid by extruding the sketch to 20 millimeters. Next, I will create another sketch. I select this face, choose create sketch and here I will draw a circle with a diameter of 10 millimeters. I click the right mouse button to cancel the circle drawing command and press the D key to activate dimensioning. I click on the center of the circle and we will place the center of the circle 20 millimeters from the origin of the coordinate system in the X axis and 15 millimeters in the Y axis. We close the sketch and based on this sketch we will create a pocket operation. Here we select the two first types so that the pocket is made up to the bottom face of the solid and we click OK. Now I select this face again, choose create sketch, select the external projection command and indicate this edge of the hole as the edge based on which I want to create reference geometry. I select draw circle. I place the center of the circle at this point and enter 15 millimeters as the circle diameter. I close the sketch and select the pocket operation. And here I create a pocket with a depth of 5 millimeters. I click OK and we have something like this. And now I would like to create more holes along this solid. Just like with the pattern, we select the operations we want to copy and select the linear pattern command. And here we specify the number of elements. Let's assume I want to create 10 elements here. As for the direction, we have the horizontal sketch axis selected here, and in this case, that matches. Here we can also select the base x axis. OK. And then we have the mode parameter. Here we choose either extend or spacing. If we choose spacing, we specify specific intervals between the pattern elements. If we choose Extend, we specify the total length of the pattern. If you want these holes to be placed at a specific distance from each other, then of course we use the Spacing option. We enter a specific value for the distance between the holes here, and these holes will be made exactly every 15 millimeters. But if you want to make a specific number of holes on the entire solid so that they are evenly distributed, and the distance between these holes is not so important, then we choose the Extend option. After selecting this option, we specify the total length of the pattern. So, how to determine this so that these holes are evenly distributed over the entire solid? The length of the entire solid is 200 millimeters. The first hole is offset from the edge of the solid by 20 millimeters, and I want the last hole to be offset from this edge by 20 millimeters as well. Therefore, the total length of the pattern is the length of the solid minus the offsets from the edges. So, in this case, I subtract 40 from 200 millimeters meaning the total length of the pattern is 160 millimeters. We click OK, and we have evenly distributed holes along this solid. OK, we have something like this, and now a natural step when learning 3D modeling in 3D CAD systems is to try to perform such a pattern in the second direction as well, to fill this entire plate with holes. To do this in FreeCAD, we can approach it in two ways. In the new version of FreeCAD, version 1.1, this has been improved, and we can do it within a single linear pattern operation. If you now go to edit the linear pattern operation, simply double-click the left mouse button on this operation in the operation list to edit it. We have the option here to create a pattern in the second direction as well. If we check this option, we can specify the second direction of the linear pattern, and a rectangular pattern will be created. Here we select the Extend option, 
and for the number of elements enter 4. It looks like this, and now we need to specify the distance of the linear pattern. So, the first element is offset from this edge by 15 mm, and I would like the last elements of the linear pattern to be offset from this edge by 15 mm as well. The length of this solid is 100 mm, so from 100 mm I subtract 30 mm, that is 15 mm per side, and as the length of the pattern in the second direction, I enter 70 mm and click OK. And in this way, we obtained a linear pattern in two directions. Just like in the case of the circular pattern, here too we have the advantage that if we introduce any changes in the source element, the changes will also be applied to the copied elements. Another approach to executing such a pattern in two directions is to perform the multi-transform operation. Previously in FreeCAD, if you wanted to make a linear pattern in two directions, you had to use this exact operation, but this operation also has many other advantages. Therefore, it is worth getting to know this operation. This operation works by selecting the feature or features that we want to copy in a linear or rectangular pattern. In this case, I select these two operations and choose the multi-transform operation. And here in this operation, we can combine different transformations with each other. In the next example, I will show you how we can combine a linear pattern with a circular pattern, but it works such that we click the right mouse button here and select the transformation we want to add. Add a linear pattern transformation, and just like before, we enter the linear pattern parameters here. Okay, it works like this, and now we can do it as in the previous case where we select the second direction of the linear pattern, or simply add another transformation, another linear pattern, and specify the parameters of this linear pattern. Here we enter a pattern length of 70, number of elements 4, and change the direction to vertical sketch axis. And in this way, we also obtained what we did in the previous case. This changed in the new version of FreeCAD, and we can create a linear pattern in two directions within the linear pattern operation, but the multi-transform operation can also be very useful in many cases, so it is worth getting acquainted with this operation, and in one of the following examples I will simply show you how you can use this operation, because within this operation we can combine all these operations with each other. So this is also an interesting operation and worth getting to know. We will now move on to another useful operation. We will create a new project, and I will show you how the mirror operation works. We discussed linear pattern and circular pattern operations, but the mirror operation can also be very useful. I will create a new sketch here on the XY plane, and simply draw a rectangle here, but while drawing this rectangle we will immediately create this rectangle with rounded corners. I indicate the origin of the coordinate system as the center point of the rectangle, as dimensions for this rectangle, I enter 100 by 70 millimeters, and as the corner radius, I enter 10 millimeters. Okay, we have such a rectangle. We close the sketch, and based on this sketch, we create a solid with a height of 20 millimeters. Now I will create another sketch. I select this face, choose the Create Sketch command to create a sketch on this face, and select the Draw Slot command. I draw a slot like this, I define the first point of the slot, then as the slot length I enter 30 millimeters. I press enter. Regarding the position of the second point, we can do it freely. We click more or less here, because in a moment we will add a symmetry constraint that will position these points for us, and as the slot width I enter for example 7 millimeters and press enter. I click the right mouse button to cancel this command, and now I select this point, I select this point. Regarding selecting geometry in the sketcher, we simply click the left mouse button. And now I also select the X axis and press the S key to apply the symmetry constraint here. And then I press the D key to activate the dimensioning command. Click on this point and define the distance of the slot from the origin of the coordinate system as 30 millimeters. I close the sketch, and based on this slot, I create a pocket operation. And here I select the two first option so that the pocket is made up to the bottom face. 
I click OK and we have something like this. I will create another sketch on this face here. I select the Create Sketch command and here I select the External Projection command. I indicate the slot edges as reference geometries. I select the Draw Slot command and place the first point of the slot at this point. I place the second point of the slot at this point and as the slot width, I enter 10 millimeters and press Enter. I close the sketch, and based on this sketch, I create a pocket with a depth of 5 millimeters and click OK. And now, I will show you how the mirror operation works. Just like with the circular pattern and linear pattern operations, we select the features we want to mirror. Next, we select the mirror operation. Here we select the plane to use as the mirror plane. By default, the vertical sketch axis is selected, and in the preview, you can see what the model will look like. Here we can also use one of the coordinate system planes as the mirror plane. We click OK, and we have something like this. And now, just like with linear pattern and circular pattern operations, this operation has the advantage that if we introduce any changes, These changes will also be applied to the mirrored copy. So it is worth remembering this when creating 3D models, because sometimes it can really significantly facilitate and speed up the creation of a 3D model, and especially, it can be very useful in cases where we make a model that has many repetitive features, and later, after making the part based on this model, it turns out that some minor dimension changes need to be made, and then instead of making changes in every feature, we simply make changes in the source feature, and the entire model will be adapted to the introduced changes. I am intentionally focusing on these operations here. And that is not all, because in another example we will use these operations again, but I want to clearly emphasize in this training that these operations really have many advantages, and in the future, before you start creating 3D models yourself, even before starting 3D modeling, you will be able to imagine the individual steps and know when to use a selected operation so that it makes the most sense and facilitates and speeds up the 3D modeling process. So I am intentionally focusing on these operations here. And in the next example, I will show you another interesting application of these operations. Now you can create full grids of holes with patterns, combine transformations with multi-transform, and mirror pockets so design changes propagate instantly. To see the next step, click the video on the screen or subscribe, and continue the full series in the playlist.